Kevin Spacey's a menace. It's just you can't have a guy running around shoving his d- in people's faces. Sorry. All right, so the Kevin Spacey doc was released. Spacey unmasked. Revealed a lot of things about Kevin Spacey we may have not known. Nine out of ten of the people they interviewed had never been spoken to before publicly and got real. Kevin Spacey is a menace. And it was detailed in two episodes. I think each are about an hour long. And that's the series, really. Just those two episodes. And it just revealed a lot of stuff about him from way back when we started up until recently. This actually revealed a lot of new allegations, stuff that were never uh, public information. And I'm pushing him off, saying, get off me. This is my office. And he, he persisted. I don't see how you can see the the absolute consistency between all these stories of these victims against him and not see this pattern that's being told. And then even hearing him describe himself in his own words fits so well with the portrait that's being painted of him as a serial abuser. To my friends for pointing out my worst qualities. A lot of the descriptions reminded me a lot of the descriptions of um, like Russell Brand during his alleged attacks. There's this consistent description of him becoming another person, him having these kind of predator eyes, or just shark eyes, you know, he's completely soulless. It was cold in a way that almost was inhuman. At first you're hearing stories of, okay, in private here, in this and that, to the point where there's allegations that are made that he is outright groping people in front of a wall of cameras and paparazzi at a premiere event. The absolute brazenness is incredible. And it, yeah. I think it I think it really validates a lot of the stories. They, they portrayed it as a lot of uh, a closeted man, very frustrated with being closeted and using that as a way to be like a predator, like as an excuse to be a predator. As right? an excuse, yes. Like, and also the hatred of himself for being a gay man for all those years. So, do you have a girlfriend? I, I, <laughs> uh, I, I've been in a relationship for a while. I mean, even from high school, there was a, a guy on there from his yeah. high school he went to who he also attacked when mm-hmm. he was in high school. And this has been going on with him throughout his entire life. On uh, movies that he himself produced and then on House of Cards where he was such a prominent figure, the production studio apparently knew well enough to only have women personal assistants with him. The issue of Kevin was certainly well known. It was like, oh yeah, that's the thing. That's what happens here. Now, he was not found guilty in court. However, two of the people who had spoken out previously to this documentary coming out have died under, if I'm gonna put on my tinfoil hat, what I would call very mysterious circumstances. One, the cause of death I don't think was ever revealed. The other was by an apparent self deletion. Don't love the term, just trying to, you know, avoid the, the censorship. And on the exact same day that one of the accusers was found, he put out his second video in his series of weird YouTube videos he put out annually on Christmas. And that one was called Kill Them With Kindness. Kill Them With Kindness. And I find that to be absolutely batshit insane. Very ominous, very creepy. If you guys haven't seen the Let Me Be Frank series he did, they're very spooky. It also speaks to just how absolutely delusional and full of himself he is. Liam Neeson says, Kevin is a good man and a man of character. He is also one of our finest artists in theater and on camera. Like that matters when we're talking about As if that has any relevance to this. On the streets, whooping his thing out and shoving it in people's faces. Literally. Would you apply that to any other profession? Would you go, yeah, but you don't understand. He's such a good construction worker. He's so good at laying cement. One of the finest cement layers that we have. This man was approaching like ex-Marines. He takes this one guy to go see Saving Private Ryan, a movie that the guy worked on. And like two minutes in, the storm in the beach on Normandy, which is like one of the most grotesque, violent fil- uh, scenes in film history. He's like <laughs> off next to him. People like literally are just ambushed by Kevin Spacey al- alone in his apartment, trying to like hook up with him. And they're like, I'm not, I'm, listen, I got a girlfriend. And he's like, oh, ooh, even better. I like a good flip. He loved the fact that I was a U.S. Marine. He goes, oh, darling, there's nothing like flipping. There's nothing like flipping a U.S. Marine who looks like you. He actually was sued by Netflix or the company that ran House of Cards for an essay because they had to film the last seasons without him. 
and they lost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, he breached his, uh, whatever they call it, the conduct clause or whatever they call it. We've seen this happen countless times. This is something uh, we've seen happen with O.J. Simpson before. It's so easy to find somebody civilly responsible when there's money on the line versus criminally responsible. And I I don't find that to be justice. He was um, sued by the producer of, of House of Cards, MRC, and was uh, found that he had to pay $31 million for the collapse of that show. Yeah. But they reached a settlement, and now he only has to pay a $1 million in installments. In That's installments, it. yeah. You can say that there are people who are sometimes uh, falsely accused by the mob and that mob justice is not justice, et cetera, et cetera. But what other recourse do you have when we live in a society where somebody can be rich and powerful and face no consequences, I think it's actually good for somebody like Kevin Spacey even to have at least some level of public accountability because it's definitely good for victims because in a world where he faces no consequences, he will absolutely continue to hurt people. They show an image of his dad and immediately I said, oh wow, his dad looks like Hitler. And then the next frame is showing the childhood house and all the Nazi memorabilia that was around. My father's office used to have a big Nazi flag hanging up on the wall. Kevin Spacey's father was a proud Nazi. Um, also a menace. Also a menace. And by menace, what we mean is a sexual abuser. It's alleged that he essayed Kevin Spacey's brother. Mm-hmm. No specific allegations regarding Kevin Spacey were made in that regard. His brother said that he he was essayed, but when he left, he thought that his mother would protect Kevin. We don't know if Kevin was abused as a child. Given the stories about his father, hurt people hurt people, absolutely. I, I don't think there's enough time for us to get into the nuance of how ab- the cycle of abuse continues and all that. But ultimately you need some level of consequence for this person and at the very least if it means that people publicly um will cancel him or whatever you want to label it and that documentaries are made up against him um Mm -hmm. call it a witch hunt if you want but i see it as being the last bastion of hope we have of seeking some level of justice against people like this who are able to evade any kind of consequence bring back me too let's do it again do another me too part two me too part two and get some of get the rest of these clowns out of hiding i've always believed that the longer an actor remains in the shadows then the characters emerge i know the phrase separate the art from the artist gets thrown around a lot and i understand the merit of that but how do you do that when the art that's being made is his medium for abuse the the context of making art is how he is abusing people so the art that you're consuming watching him in these pieces you should know that he is actively using his prominence on those sets to abuse his fellow setmates. Men aren't supposed to let this get under their skin. And, and one more thing, men, because I saw a lot of this in the documentary, straight men, don't be afraid to tell your truths. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. This happens yeah. to you, to us. Yep. This can happen and you're not less of a man for admitting that it has. Yep. That's it.